hi guys welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is sochi i'm a nigeria fashion designer based here in ghana so please if today is your first time of uh, watching my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you can always get an alert whenever i post something new I post a uh, sewing tutorials here every week so trust me if you stop by it will be worth it thank you so in today's uh, tutorial I would like to share with you guys one of the easiest and best way to calculate your front bust circumference measurement and then your back bust circumference measurement Okay, I'll be using my own uh, body measurement for this illustration. And to calculate this, I'll be needing a, my bust circumference measurement, which is 38, and my under bust, which is 32. So if I'm to calculate my front and back bust, I'll be needing the uh, measurement of my under bust in this illustration even though i just want to focus on the bust measurement so the the best way to calculate this measurement is by using allocation formula yes it is called a the bust allocation formula so this formula is simply taking some numbers from your back uh, bust measurement and then you add it to the front measurement so you are adding a number to your front bust and then you are subtracting some numbers from your back uh, bust circumference measurement and you know the reason because the front is bigger than the back so that is why this formula is very simple and it is very very uh, good if you want to make a fitted outfit for a lady and you're not using this bust allocation formula then i don't know how the dress is going to turn out okay so how does this formula work for example i'm bust 38 under bust 32. i will simply calculate this bust measurement by dividing the total number of my bust circumference by 2. When I divide it by 2, that's 38 divided by 2, okay, 38, that's my bust measurement, 38 divided by 2, I will get 19 inches. So when you get, when you divide your bus circumference by two and you get something, any number that you get, the next thing to do is this, mine is 19. So I will be adding one inch to this 19, 19 or I'll be adding 1.5. I will only determine this. By the difference between my bust circumference measurement and then my under bust circumference measurement and i told you guys that my bust is 38 and then my under bust is 32 38 minus by 32 the difference is six six uh, six inches so if you um, subtract a uh, your uh, under bust from your bust measurement the number that you get will determine if you have to add one inch or 1.5 so when your bust uh, the difference between your bust measurement and your under bust measurement is up to five from five going that is five six up then you have to use 1.5 
to add to your front bust measurement front bust i'm not talking about the back just the front but when it is five inches uh, from five inches like that's four going down then you have to use one inch instead of 1.5 and since mine is 38 a six inch difference as the bust and the under bust six inches difference i will be using 1.5 inches 38 divided like i told you guys 38 divided by 2 the 38 is the circumference of my bust measurement when i divide it by 2 i'm getting 19 and since the difference between my bust measurement and under bust is more than is from 5 going i'll be using 1.5 that is the 19 inches plus 1.5 19 inches plus 1.5 i'll be getting 20.5 inches you see so when you get 20.5 you divide the 20.5 by 2 and then i'll be getting 10.25 that is the correct bust measurement for my front block so you see so this is the right way to calculate your front bust measurement mine as a bust 38 my front bust uh, compared to my under bust my front bust is 10.25 okay let me talk about the back Bust uh, measurement. That's the, if you are making a draft, you first of all draft the first, the first uh, block before you draft the second one, which is the back measurement. So if I'm calculating my back bust circumference measurement, I will also divide my 38, which is the round overall measurement which is 38 by 2 which gave me 19 inches but the difference here is that I told you guys that I'll be taking out some numbers from the back measurement then in this place you are no more adding but subtracting because the back is smaller than the front so I'll be subtracting the exact amount I added to my front bust I added 1.5 inch so I will be subtracting the same 1.5 for my 19 19 inches minus 1.5 it will give me it will give me 17.5 inches for my back measurement and then this 17.5 i'll divide it to and when i divide it i'm getting 8.75 you see my front now is 10.25 and then the back measurement for my bust is 8.75 this is very simple and trust me it's the best if you want to make a fitted outfit for a lady if you have not tried this method you are free to try it it is very very good it is it is the best there is no way that if i'm making a fitted outfit for myself i'll divide my front bust measurement and the back bust measurement equally i said a fitted outfit but like if i'm making something like a blazer jacket there i can share it equal because because it is more like a the males the male wear you, you see it is a free uh, outfit it's not that it is not fitted that if I'm making a fitted outfit for a lady and I share my bust equal even the under bust you don't have to share it equal and then the waist you don't have to share it equal and then the hip no but with the, I just wanted to talk about the bust for today let me know in the comment section what you think and 
I can also do more videos on wonder bulbs, waste and hair, but that will be next time. So thank you guys for joining me and thank you for watching my video. Please, if you find this video helpful, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification bell. So if you're wondering why this your cool uh, fashion design always make a fitted outfit and it's good if the fitting is wow then just know that maybe there's something that you're doing differently or should i say maybe you're not getting very well about calculation of post measurement hmm? so you don't have to uh, divide your bust measurement equally when making a fitted outfit for a lady because the front and the back measurements would never be the same thanks and see you guys on my next one